Now, are we worried at all about Luca's left thumb injury? Because he did go get x-rays on it again last night after the game. They reconfirmed that he just has a sprain. There's nothing broken. But, Brian, are you worried at all? Do you think maybe they should sit him for a Yeah, week well, they're two? already watching that ankle because he's had two, two ankle sprains. They give him some back-to-back -back stuff. Have you ever had a thumb ligament injury? Yes, there? I've had a thumb ligament injury, and, I, and it's, it's bad when it's in your shooting hand. Yeah. So, right, since he's, he's a right-handed shooter, it's not something that's going to... It's going, to, it's going to nag him, mm -hmm. and it's going to be an inconvenience, and he can adjust his game around it. Mm -hmm. But as you see, he had, it, it got hit, and he kind of just kept on going, making certain moves. It's just how much pain he can take. The right. thing about it is if you, if you tear your, your ligament in your thumb, his season will be over. Right. I don't know if it's in danger. I'm sure they wouldn't keep playing if it was in danger of a worse injury. But that's something, you know, you got to keep someone. He did say after the game that he needs to start wearing one of those plastic splints. But right. I know that players don't like doing that. So. But you might have to do that just to make sure that you that guys you get don't. To, but they're in a six seed right now, right? So, and if they, st and they they're probably staying a six seed. That's a, that's a good place for them to be. Yeah, they've been going back and forth with seven and six. So, yeah, right. for sure. Absolutely. Warriors announced yesterday Steph Curry cleared to return to action after missing 58 games with a broken left hand. Curry said he expects to play 24-28 minutes tonight in a rematch of last year's finals. Here's Steph on his motivation for playing right now. Enough to play. Uh, I've been pretty clear on it's going to be a, a while before you know, comparing the left to the right, that it feels normal. Um, and there is a new normal that I'm dealing with, but uh, that's the reality of it. And at this point, I can't re-injure it unless something freakish happens like it did last time. And there's a confidence knowing that. Uh, and I just got to get out there and play. Dante, how much of a lag do you expect for Steph Curry? Is he going to come out and be Steph Curry right away, or do you think he's going to have to work his way into it? I think Steph is going to be be dynamic tonight. He'll be Steph Curry. He's been away from the game for a little bit of time. The game has missed him, and he's missed the game. Um, he can put on offensive um, shows at times. He'll be playing, like, what, 20 to 24 minutes. So that's something that he can manage and go out there and, and give you a good show. But he's also playing a, a Toronto Raptors team who has length, who defends at a high clip. So... It's a tough opponent to come back for. He should have came back for the Wizards. But <laughs> <laughs> if he like wanted to go out Steph. <laughs> Dave Lillard came back against the Wizards. Steph wanted to come back against the Wizards. Right. Instead, they wanted to get that one more practice in. And you're right, the Raptors are not going to be a pushover tonight. And not at all. Yeah, uh, so he, I've seen some people wonder why Steph is coming back and playing. Well, first off, He's Steph, a basketball Steph player. wants to play. Second off, <laughs> the fans want him to play. We want him to play, too. I don't know if you heard. They're on ABC on Saturday night. Um, <laughs> Did you mention that? Uh, the other thing is, you know, this comes from Greg Popovich. One of the things I've learned watching Pop over the years, he doesn't believe that any time is wasted. That at the end of a blowout or if it's a game where Tim Duncan was sitting or whatever, he doesn't waste that time. And Steve Kerr learned from that. These games do not mean nothing. Mm -hmm. There will be things that happen in these games, whether it's with Andrew Wiggins or it's with other guys you're looking at, that potentially will help them down the line. We're not going to know it now, but in addition, we want to watch one of the best players in the player in the in the league work. You know, I promise you, something will happen when Steph comes back that we'll be sitting here next October, or November, saying, "Hey, remember that? That is something that happened with the Spurs all the time." And by the way, it is great for the fans because Steph Curry is really, really fun to play, watch play basketball. We have missed that over the last four months, and I'm watching some of these practice videos that have come out over the last couple weeks. He is, as always, he's shooting from the logo, he's shooting from half court, he's doing things in motion. It, it, it's just a joy to watch him play, and I think he appreciates after being away from the game for a few months. I know at the end of last season, they were all so worn out, right, and tired up there in Golden State. Having it taken away from him, I chatted with him last month. He's so itching to get out there. I think you will see that Steph Curry joy, and that is going to be so much fun also. And Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, Check out the ESPN app, and for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.